Okay, so I have my uh, solar power generator here. I want to show it to you guys today. Uh, it basically consists of uh, three components, and uh, two of them have installed. I'm still waiting to install the third component, which is the solar charge controller. But uh, looking at the box here, uh, first you have the inverter, which runs off the battery, um, and it's all wired through the electrical box that I've uh, mounted and cut out for all the specific accessories and so forth. So to run this thing, uh, the first thing I would do is turn on the master main power switch here. It's a marine operated switch that controls uh, this one aught cord right here, um, which connects to the battery and runs through. I also have a voltmeter here that uh, is actually independent of the switch. Uh, this tells you how charged the battery is. It's running over 13 volts, so I know it's been fully charged up. I'll turn that off right now. Turn back on the main switch. And then on the side here, I have some accessories I've installed. First one is a 12 volt uh, accessory switch or outlet, excuse me. Uh, also down here on another switch here, I have a USB so I can charge iPads, iPhones, any type of USB device. Uh, this one I have it wired. Uh, the top one is is everything's fused in line, all the uh, accessories and so forth. This is a 15 amp, I fused at 15 amp. The bottom one is fused at uh, 5 amps, or excuse me, 3 amps, um, because it only draws uh, about 3 amps of power from the devices and so forth. So I'm gonna test a couple things here. We're gonna do, uh, make some fresh coffee this morning. Uh, so I'll get my master switch on, turn on the inverter. Fans kick on for a little bit. to start up and uh, the fans will cycle on as uh, the inverter needs to cool down and use the fans appropriately. So uh, first things first here, I'm gonna plug in my trusty handy watt meter because it's gonna help me uh, tell me what type of power is being used. Okay, so here we go. It's all set to go there. And uh, fresh coffee, I'm gonna grind this up Just like that here. I'm gonna plug this into the watt meter. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go on this side here so I can see uh, as I press the coffee maker, I'll watch the watts here. I'm gonna switch over to watt here. Okay, so you can see uh, watts being used. It used about uh, 121 watts at peak. It's probably under an amp of power. And uh, I've got my coffee in. It's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the coffee maker to the solar charge controller here. So move things over. Okay, so the coffee is brewing away. I had to, to uh, dump all my videos off my iPhone that ran out of memory as it's brewing here. So let's just check things out here. Still at 11.9. 900 watts here brewing coffee. Coffee is probably you know, almost half brewed here and so forth. The fans to the uh, Tiger Claw 1500 Pure uh, sine wave inverter has just kicked on. All right, so it's cooling the uh, inverter as it works here. Pretty neat here. Just one more thing I want to show you here. I got some battery pulls here. These are not connected yet, but uh, they eventually will be able to have caps for them so they're protected and safe, they're not exposed connections. Um, and I can use these as jump points if I want to jump a car so I can uh, add more batteries for uh, more capacity. If, uh, if I lose power, I need to power the uh, pellet stove and the refrigerator. I can hook up additional batteries in parallel here. Uh, while we're looking at that, things are working away here. I'll just take off the cover here real quick here. Show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so you can see um, uh, the uh, 125 amp hour battery. It's an AGM battery. It's completely sealed. It doesn't give off, give off any fumes, you know, to deal with any type of water uh, or anything like that. Um, my positive points here, everything's fused in line. They also have inline fuses up here for the uh, various accessory ports and so forth. Uh, on the other side, in the back, eventually I'll mount the solar, solar charge controller back here in the next week or two as it becomes available. Um, I also have what pre-wired in more accessory ports back here. I have one that runs off the source charge controller 12 volt that directly runs off uh, the load or the panels. And then down here I have a, 
uh, end parts um, for the solar panel that will plug in directly um, and then be wired over to the solar charge controller. I just wanted to show you the last part of this video here as the uh, coffee go goes ahead and finishes up brewing here. We're almost at um, just over eight cups. That's why I programmed the, uh, you can see from the time, the solar power generator has been going for about nine minutes on a load for about uh, 900 watts here. Check the amps again. Just under eight. The coffee is steaming and ready to go here. 22 watts here as it finishes up and uh, so the fans just kicked out a little higher it stopped everything stopped the uh, as far as drawing high current you can see the battery has jumped back up to over 12 volts okay as it kind of recovers from the uh, high low intensity so there we have it the uh, solar power generator the quamarinator that uh, uh, we use as a source of backup power for our home and uh, there are so many uh, ways we can use this not just to brew coffee you know? um, but I plan to use it outside instead of hauling out our generator for small projects I with this keeping this in the garage I plan to never use an arrow extension cord for projects and working outside and so forth so I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, please add your comments um, there will be more videos to come to demo the uh, solar power generator, including uh, a video when I install uh, the uh, solar charge controller. Thanks for watching.